let's say fair capitalism. This is the most pure form of capitalism, where the government takes a completely hands-off approach. Businesses are left to operate without regulations or interference, and the market decides everything, from prices to employment. The idea is that competition and self-interest will naturally lead to efficiency and innovation. Corporate Capitalism Here, large corporations are the main players in the economy. They hold significant influence over the market and even politics. In corporate capitalism, smaller companies struggle to compete, and big businesses have the resources to shape laws, regulations, and social trends. Crony Capitalism In crony capitalism, businesses succeed not because of their quality or competitiveness, but because they have close relationships with government officials. This creates an unfair market, where companies get special treatment through subsidies, contracts, or lax regulations stifling competition. Venture capitalism. Venture capitalists invest in small, high-risk startups, especially in tech and innovation sectors, hoping these companies grow rapidly. They provide funding in exchange for partial ownership and a say in business decisions, betting on a big payout if the company goes public or is bought out. Consumer capitalism. This type of capitalism is built around consumer demand. Companies focus on producing goods and services that appeal to people's wants and needs. Advertising, branding, and customer satisfaction become central, and the economy relies heavily on people spending money on consumer goods. Global capitalism. In global capitalism, companies operate and compete on an international level. They outsource production, operate in multiple countries, and often shift operations to places with lower costs. This type of capitalism prioritizes maximizing profits on a global scale, but can raise issues like labor exploitation and environmental impact. Welfare capitalism. Welfare capitalism combines free market principles with a government safety net. The government provides social services to protect citizens from economic hardships, creating a balance between private profit and public welfare. Social market capitalism. Social market capitalism is similar to welfare capitalism, but focuses more on maintaining a free market with strong government oversight. The idea is to ensure that businesses thrive, but within a system that promotes social equality and worker rights. Balancing profit with social responsibility. Environmental or green capitalism. Green capitalism encourages businesses to operate sustainably and adopt eco-friendly practices. Companies focus on reducing waste, lowering carbon emissions, and using renewable resources, trying to align profit motives with environmental goals. Often, they use their green efforts as part of their branding. Finance capitalism. In finance capitalism, financial markets, banks, and investment firms hold a huge influence over the economy. The focus is less on producing goods and more on capital investments, stocks, and debt. Financial entities play a big role in decision-making, even within non-financial industries. Techno-capitalism. Techno-capitalism is driven by technology and innovation. Tech companies play a leading role, and the economy relies on new inventions, digital services, and rapid technological advancement. This can lead to fast growth, but also rapid shifts in job markets and the need for new skills. Digital or surveillance capitalism. Digital capitalism relies on data collection to drive business decisions, often through online platforms. Companies gather and analyze user data to target advertising, influence behavior, and sometimes sell personal information, often with little transparency for the consumer. Merchant capitalism. Merchant capitalism is one of the earliest forms of capitalism, focused on trade and commerce rather than production. Merchants and traders accumulate wealth by buying goods cheaply in one place and selling them at a higher price elsewhere. It was especially common in Europe during the Renaissance and was essential to the growth of global trade routes. Monopoly capitalism. In monopoly capitalism, a few large firms or a single company dominate an industry, leading to reduced competition. These companies can set prices and control the market, often at the expense of consumers and smaller businesses. This form emerged during the Industrial Revolution as big corporations grew. Anarcho-capitalism. Anarcho-capitalism combines capitalism with the philosophy of anarchism, advocating for a stateless society where free markets operate without government interference. Private property and voluntary agreements govern all transactions, and security or justice services would be handled by private organizations rather than a state. Cultural capitalism. Cultural capitalism focuses on the commercialization of cultural products and experiences, like music, movies, art, fashion, and tourism. Businesses market and sell cultural items, often tying them to identity, lifestyle, and social status. State capitalism. An economic system where the state plays a central role in managing the economy, 
owning and controlling key industries while allowing limited market competition and private enterprise.